The president called your daughter earlier today a warrior. Do you see her that way? She's definitely a warrior. She's a great kid. I'm very proud of her. I'm proud of all of my children, her two brothers as well. Uh, but she served admirably and she served loyally and faithfully. I'll tell you, let me pay tribute to President Trump. He has treated her with the highest level of dignity and respect and kindness. Uh, she is incredibly loyal to him and indeed grateful for the experience of a lifetime. And just last week, I was uh, going through and getting some Chick-fil-A and she was dining with Queen Elizabeth and then the next day having lunch with Prince Charles. What a life she's been able to enjoy. And uh, she loves this president, will always be grateful for the way that she treated him and for the extraordinary experience that she's been able to have. If you want to share with us, what, what are her plans next after she leaves at the end of the month from uh, the West Wing? And is, is a political run her, her next path? Well, not only do I not know, she doesn't know either. She's really wanting to have some time to kind of decompress, spend some time with her kids and just enjoy part of the summer uh, away from all of it. And then she'll start looking at the future. She has not made any specific plans. I don't know if she'll run for office, but I tell you, if she does, she'll be a great candidate and a terrific uh, office holder, whatever it might wow. be. I, I would encourage her. We'll see. Well, the story is not over clearly, and I know she misses her family, so she gets more time with them. Governor, thank you for coming on today. Mike Huckabee, and have a enjoy good time the weekend, on sir. Beach.